be closed today due to heavy snowfall and dangerous wintry conditions. Please be advised that all classes are cancelled as of 8 a.m. Eastern Time. terms, natural frequency is the point where an object oscillates out of control and is mathematically defined as the square root of the stiffness of the object divided by its mass. But to us it means a group of friends going out and hitting the snow and just taking a break from everything that we deal with at school every day and going out and having some fun with each other. And and not really worrying about what we have to do that day. Uh, just kind of forgetting about everything and, and going out and playing. Classes are pretty tough up here. It's common to spend 14, 16 hours a day studying sometimes. In the wintertime, we'll stay up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning just so we have free time to ride. I think what I'm going to miss the most is just uh, being around a group of friends that are just fun to hang out with and being able to you know, have a selection of six, seven guys you get text and say, hey, you want to go riding or what are you doing if someone doesn't have a class, you know, we can sneak out for a few hours. Just fun being around everybody, you know, a core group of friends that are into the same thing and just have a good time. One of the cool things about Michigan Tech is it's quite often that we'll bring our sleds right to campus in the morning, uh, get down to class at noon, one o'clock, I'll meet up for some lunch and head out to the nearest spot and ride the rest of the day. When we started the year, we just wanted to ride. We didn't, um, we didn't go out at the beginning of the year saying, "Hey, we're gonna make a video." And I think it's just really cool how everything came about. How we we're just out having fun and riding and filming a few things, and that kind of just spiraled into actually making something that's turning out to be pretty cool. This last season was our last winter together as a big group. So every time we had an opportunity, we took advantage of it just to either go riding and five feet of powder or riding on ice, it didn't matter, we were just out in the snow having a blast. It's an awesome experience to be able to live, study, ride with your best friends 24-7 and that's what we've been doing the last three to four years up here. Pretty lucky, eh? Oh, big time on the luck. <laughs> I'm out riding. I don't care about my sled all that much. I don't care about uh, if I'm doing anything super technical. I just go out there and I try to have fun. There's nothing else I'm thinking about other than, damn, I'm happy to be doing something other than schoolwork. A lot of times uh, people might uh, call me Goonie. I like watching Chad Goon ride. Yeah, any day Chad's Goon riding, it's a good day. A goon? It's a real life goon, he don't have to go to YouTube for it. <laughs> no, Chad's awesome though. Uh, I've had a lot of fun times with Chad out west. We had a blast uh, watching him jump his pogo stick sled this year. That was awesome. Kid can make that thing sail through the air ten times better than anyone. The chance to, to, to get out of school and, and go out and, and hit the hills and, and play around with uh, all your friends on sleds is just, I mean, it doesn't... You don't get the opportunity every day when you're when you're in school, so every chance you get to go out riding is like a is like a gift, and you gotta you gotta really have fun when you're out there. So I just kind of push it and don't worry about my sled. I don't worry about uh, getting hurt. I just just do whatever I feel like. <laughs>
like doing and if, if nothing else if we're gonna get a laugh out of it. Tori Bond, another good guy we ride with. Uh, he got a Polaris this year. Um, big step, made some big improvements this year. A lot of fun to ride with. Uh, if you needed to go snowmobiling, you, you always knew Tori was down to go. <laughs> Instead of going to Colorado for grad school like I planned this spring, uh, basically Travis Barrow convinced me to stick around and we'll go riding every day. At that point I was like, can't pass this opportunity up to hang out with my friends one last time. Tori's uh, always trying to get better. He's a, he's a perfectionist. He wants he wants everything to be perfect, whether it's riding or uh, in school. I have a good time 
all riding with them because you, you always feel a sense of comfort like you're you got a plan like you're going to do something and uh, you're, you're trying to accomplish something you're trying to get good footage you're trying to push yourself to the next level but you're doing it in a way that not only are you trying something but you're you're trying to do it right. You're trying to do. You're trying to do something really cool, and you're, you're trying to be a perfectionist at it because you're with Tori, and that's just the way he is. When you're out riding, you're not thinking about school and the stress that come with it. You're just thinking about how much fun we're gonna have today and who's gonna do the sweetest thing. So, <laughs> what you're gonna wreck? <laughs> what trees you're gonna hit? <laughs> Yeah, baby! <laughs> Holy balls! That was sweet! <laughs> yeah! And I can honestly say that going to Michigan Tech and meeting this group of friends has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Not your buddy? No. You take me so far away I don't want to be saved by you Cause I can't lose it You treat my life like a game But I don't need to be saved by you Cause I won't lose it came to Michigan Tech in 2008 for my freshman year of college. Um, I didn't really know anyone or what to expect. Uh, I went to my first Sledheads meeting and met a bunch of guys that will probably be my lifelong friends. Travis is a guy that uh, 
always wants to, to drag you out of the house and, and get you to do something fun. Early in the morning, try to give you a call and say, hey, you should get up, we're going to breakfast at 8 o'clock and then going riding the whole day. Or Sometimes Travis will just give you a call and say, hey, we're going to go bomb through the woods and, and try to get to this place and we're just going to kind of get lost for three or four hours and you know, you always get into a, you always get into an adventure that uh, you're not quite sure if you're going to come out of all right uh, with Travis. The favorite part about riding in the UP is just being able to see everything it has to offer up here. Uh, there's a lot of places that you're not going to see around here unless you're snowmobiling. Um, it's, it'll never be like it was up here again. This is the time, time of my life up here and I'm really going to miss it. So the guys up here, they call me dirt ball. I just need one word, it's just dirt ball. That's pretty much what it is. You gotta know him, I guess. There's, you can't describe it, Dylan. Uh, you just think of some dirty guy. Uh, I know a leafer around, Carhartt's. Um, not really sure where that originated, but I, I take it as a compliment. Dylan's got a really strong passion for uh, motorsports industry, and, and he's going into grad school for engines. He's, uh, really smart, really quick-witted on, on everything with engines. Dylan is a really fun guy to hang out with. Uh, he'll uh, always motivate you to, to have fun. Uh, it's either have fun or 
go back to school and get your work done. So this year we had a lot of snow up here in the UP, uh, more than usual, end of March, early April for sure. We had five feet or more of fresh powder. Um, There's several times where I'd get stuck on pretty much flat ground and I did like two guys giving me a ski pole and neck deep and still couldn't get out. And we had pro RMKs, I couldn't crest hills in the UP, which is pretty rare. Uh, a lot of fun, I uh, wish, wish I'd go back. Get a fucking job, man. He's sad, man. He's just gay. He's garbage. Who is that guy? I heard he's a shit. He's a bad boy. He sucks. Who is he anyway? He should have got home. People keep talking about me. I don't ever hear a word to say. You best move on without me. All I'm gonna do is keep delaying. My strength, my confidence, my common sense. My money's gone. My soul, I sing my songs with moved along. Now something's wrong. I got a problem with the daylight. It's only autumn and I'm falling with the straight right. It ain't right, but it ain't like I ain't tried. Hard to be a star in the sunshine. I need them night lines in the nighttime. Found what she left me, lost was my right mind. So I write rhymes, reach up for a lifeline. Who wants to be a millionaire anyway? I'm a penny away from making pennies a day. So let me your ear and I'ma take it away. And never pay your back with the shit that I say. I'll get it by them all, give me something a day. Here it comes in. Now there's a church and a mosque and a temple Have faith but it ain't that simple They use a symbol to get us assembled Just fear and a God make us trust the devil I'ma get well sitting by the citadel Sip a bottle of Jack and wish on the wishing well Then I kiss and tell everyone a fairy tale I'm feeling alright, yeah, motherfucker read the braille Cause they blind to the fact that the fact is The mind ain't aligned with the nature and divine So the eye can't define what is yours, what is mine What is God made or made God mad at mankind Cause mankind ain't made a kind man yet I'll come and looking for the next eight bet Yeah, but all my money's on the table Can I have another hit? It comes in
Brian's a really good friend to have. He's always there for you. Uh, you can give him a call uh, anytime, day or night, and he's there. He's, he's ready to go out riding. He's ready to uh, go out and have a good time. It doesn't matter. Cole, other guy, just wants to go ride and have fun. A uh, lot of fun to ride with him. It's always a blast. Why do you enjoy riding with Ryan Cole this year? Uh, Ryan is really good, and him and I were roommates for three years, and he he's the reason why I got a mountain son in the first place. So him and I have been riding together for th going on three years now, so we kind of clicked, I guess, if you would. The spring break was really sweet this year. We got a ton of snow, and uh, I was planning on going home because um, I don't know we had been riding a lot, and I hadn't been home for a while, so. Uh, was just about ready to leave and go home and we kind of heard that there's a big storm coming in and Tori called me up and basically convinced me to stay and uh, ended up being some of the most ridiculous riding all year and a lot of our footage was from that. And, uh, literally like three feet of snow in a matter of about a day and a half on top of like a four foot base so that was just awesome. So, so my priorities obviously school is your number one priority that's why we're all there to you know, get an education, but at the same time, you gotta have fun, and honestly, if I didn't go to Michigan Tech and I didn't have snowmobiling to kind of keep me sane, I probably would have done a lot worse in school.
this year was uh, a lot of fun for me. I got the opportunity to do a lot of riding with, with the older guys, the guys that have been here for a while and you know, know a lot of spots that you're not going to be able to find. Uh, I rode with Tori a lot and he pushed me you know, pretty hard. There was a lot of times where I'd be following Tori you know, into situations that I wouldn't normally put myself in. And that was huge because that made me, you know, a lot, a lot better rider, which was, which was awesome. I think one of the most fun events that, at least from my time at college, that just happens every year, senior walk. Uh, last year, after senior walk, well, for senior walk, we bought just goofy, basically extravagant tuxedo t-shirt type things. And mine was like a 5XL. I'm a pretty big guy, I don't require 5X, so we went riding the next day in them and they were all written on from going from each bar, from every bar we went to, and uh, the videos from that are pretty awesome. After after graduating, after we all walked at graduation, we were actually able to take our sleds out on May 1st and take pictures in our graduation gowns and caps, which is pretty cool. I know, I know at first we dropped on the side of the highway and everyone felt kind of stupid doing it but as soon as they started their sled and started ripping them out around and doing wheelies and carving in the snow it just it was definitely a blast. I guess what I'm gonna miss about Houghton is coming home every day knowing that my two lovely roommates Dan Biro Tra or Terrible Travis who may know him as and uh, Terry Tory or Ted uh, knowing that they went riding were able to enjoy themselves while well, I had to stay at school and work hard so I had money to support the family. Um, I don't know, overall, I really, I really miss Houghton because there's just a lot of seniors, there's always fun stuff to do and
about me half as much as I think of you Can't you tell I'm trying hard not to seem in transpired When the alumni come back, we pretty much drop everything we have going on because it's just always a blast to go riding with the older guys. Uh, these are the guys that showed us how to ride in the backcountry and uh, basically convinced us to get mountain sleds, so it's always a ton of fun. Coming back to Houghton every year and riding is always a lot of fun. Um, working a full-time job, taking weekends off, taking Fridays off to get up, ride, head up six hours to the UP, sled in tow, snowing like crazy. Um, it's, all, it's just a blast. It's so much fun to get out there, take a weekend off, get up there late Friday night, find all the young kids on campus, drag them off for their homework, get them out to Sled Ed's garage or to, uh, to the local establishments. Um, then get up early Saturday morning, get out. The young guys always got somewhere in mind where they've been, what what's been tracked up, what hasn't been, and uh, head out to a certain destination, get some good time in on the seat, and uh, find some good trails, find some uh, nice valleys or some new hills, play in the powder, and uh, have some hill climb competitions. First guy to the top of the hill gets a beer at the KBC. Uh, those are always a lot of fun. Being able to be one of those people that did go to Michigan Tech and ride their snowmobile when they wanted to, when they could, in the some of the most pristine conditions in the Midwest is just phenomenal. It's amazing. Uh, something that you'll never forget and you'll always look forward to being back. Down by the dock sits a man on a rock with his hands in the air.
feel a light tap on my left shoulder Joe says, man, you don't look a day older Your boy throws that ball like you used to Looks like he's walking in your shoes Man, it seems like it was yesterday Now all the faces have changed It's been a while, bro Where did the time go? Passes so fast Everyone we ask No one seems to know Like a warm spring thaw Melts away the winter snow We sure like to know Where did the time go? Took our boys to town after the game Not sure how we lost touch, both taking blame Stopped for a bite at the old town diner Still had our photo on the wall as you enter The boys in their youthful way Say you'll see our picture hanging here one day the time